Data in the travel industry is fragmented. Connecting siloed data sources is slow and costly. Because of that, it's difficult to build a holistic view of the traveler and to provide truly personalized content. Sabre and Google are building a travel data platform, or TDP, that aggregates data more efficiently. The platform will share relevant data points at the right time in the traveler's journey. It will enable travel providers to engage their travelers more personally through retailing, distribution, and fulfillment with more automation, thereby increasing NPS loyalty and customer yield. There are endless possibilities for the travel data platform, but we're going to focus on how a TDP could be used by Tim, a revenue analyst at an airline, and Carla at a travel agency. We'll also showcase the travel journey of Simone, a typical leisure traveler. Let's start with Tim, who's a revenue analyst for World Star Air. He logs into the Airline Travel Data Platform, or TDP, to find ways for more travelers to add leisure days to their business trips. The TDP shows him upcoming corporate events with high lifetime traveler value. The STX conference in Chicago usually brings in many air bookings. He decides to create a campaign for this event in the TDP. This triggers a code that is sent to travelers associated with this event. Now let's look at what a leisure traveler does with the code. Simone has previously chosen to share her travel information with the TDP because it makes it easier to manage her plans, especially if her trip changes. She has attended SDX in the past, so she receives a code in her email. She clicks on the offer, which opens her corporate booking tool owned by WorldStar Air. Keep in mind that this demo is not about the corporate booking tool, it's about the travel data platform analytics that could power a corporate booking tool. After logging in, she sees three pre-built itineraries based on the schedule and location of the conference. Simone modifies the schedule by adding two days for leisure travel after her conference. The TDP recognizes the two additional days as leisure intent and she's offered bundles based on her business travel history from the corporate booking tool, leisure travel trends in Chicago from Google Travel Analytics Center, preferences from Google Travel Profile and Saber Profile, and company travel policies from Policy Engine. She selects a bundle with return air, her preferred economy plus window seat, hotel, and a $50 Uber car service credit on a virtual card. She is then presented with room options and leisure add-ons that are based on preferences of similar travelers who've consented to share their data. The TDP groups people with similar characteristics into anonymized cohorts whose members can receive unique, relevant offers. Simone selects a Chicago architecture boat tour. She then pays for her leisure expenses with her personal card. The air Line passes her itinerary to her company's travel management company, or TMC, for further servicing and duty of care. This provides the TMC with a unified profile of the traveler. Now, let's take a look at the travel management company, where an agent named Carla often consults the agency TDP to decide what to promote. She sees the products that Simone and her cohort purchased, which allows her to make an informed decision about what to offer them. Simone's original hotel options did not account for the boat tour since they were presented before the tour. Now that Carla has the additional information about the boat tour, she sends Simone a recommendation for a different preferred hotel that is closer to both the conference and the boat tour. Carla also sends her special rates for a room upgrade and a spa package. Simone goes to the airline-owned corporate booking tool to book the recommended hotel. Carla then sends Simone the latest health protocols, a travel document checklist, and a complete itinerary, including a dinner reservation parsed from her Google Calendar. The night before before Simone's trip, Carla notices many Chicago flight cancellations due to bad weather. She consults the TDP to see which travelers she should contact. She sends Simone a message reassuring her that she can help with any changes needed. Additionally, she sends an offer for a free checked bag. Tim at World Star Air is also monitoring flight cancellations in the TDP. He creates a campaign offering free lounge passes for high-value travelers affected by the cancellations. He also entices them with offers for exit row seating and priority boarding. Simone is in that campaign cohort and sees the offers in her email. She has options to refund the trip or rebook a new flight the following morning. She opts for rebooking and an exit row seat. This triggers a notification and automated servicing workflow with her TMC to fulfill her multi-segment itinerary with a new hotel check-in date and new outbound flight. On her travel day, she waits comfortably for her flight in the airport lounge. When she gets off the plane, her Uber is ready because it was automatically scheduled 
based on her arrival time. She rides to her hotel and redeems her Uber credit. Her overall trip was easy and comfortable, and she is now ready to network and enjoy the city. A travel data platform is a fundamental building block in creating a new marketplace for personalized travel that connects people with experiences that matter. By harnessing data from multiple sources, a TDP will provide players in the travel ecosystem a more comprehensive view of their customers. Over time, the TDP will continue to learn more about traveler behaviors and enhance its artificial intelligence and machine learning infused algorithms. This will be done securely and in compliance with privacy regulations. Knowing their customers better can help travel providers create truly targeted campaigns that are more likely to lead to conversions and improve the traveler experience.